<laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to start off with questions today on uh, we can go back to chapter 14 since we didn't do that last time. So 14 and 15, but let's kind of go in order if we're going to do that. So chapter 14, does anybody have any questions on those? Number one. Seeing none. Chapter 14. Can we go over number five on the apply for 14, chapter 14? Five, imply chapter 14. Okay, let me see here. I forgot to actually pull this up, so I'm going to have to open the file. <clears throat> five, imply. All right. I don't know why that's opening up two things. It seems like. <clears throat> All right. Let me get a little screen share going. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see, this is way down here. Now, well, I guess we're just gonna have to do rapid scroll. Chapter seven, sorry, I should have had this up beforehand, but I kind of forgot we were gonna do. Chapter 11, yeah, I'm gonna crack it, sign it. What's this? Chapter 13. And you were talking chapter 14, correct? Was that you, Dan? Yeah, that said that? yeah number five on the apply for chapter 14, please. All uh, right. Robotic cars and labor market. All right. Finally got to it here. <clears throat> We've got a monocentric city where every Everyone commutes to the city center by audible, both the entry commuting. Um, all right, so residential land market. Um, looks like my internet's a little unstable, so apologize if it's getting a little sketchy. Um, we'll see how this goes. We should be. The chat is on All right. Um, so, residential land market. Uh, we're going to have a tree or a. Hey, Russ, you're cutting out really bad. That's what I was thinking of. So, hopefully, let me talk to you guys right now just in case. <laughs> and he said Optimus Prime. I lost my shit, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. We're back in action. Hey. Are you guys, were you able to pick up anything I was saying or not? I have no idea what you said. Yeah, we didn't. Okay. Um, let me go to the chat box. You sound fine now. Oh, I do sound fine. Well, my system rebooted, so it is okay now. Yeah, I can thumbs up that. if so. Uh, good enough. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll have the recording to fall back on. We can kind of use the chat box. But yeah, a lot of your screens are frozen for me. I don't know if my internet is sketch today or what. So All 
All right, let me go back to the screen share. All right. So robot cars, um, basically it's like a innovation like our commuting, I think is probably the easiest way to think of it, Daniel, um, that we'd have a similar effect to the, to the street cars coming in. So we'd have lengthen out the land, residential land would um, expand, um, lowering the wage in the labor market, causing the business sector to expand also. So they can kind of skip any of that. So let me just draw a quick picture. So if that's our starting place at ag, I would say we're going to uh, increase the residential area, that'll lower the wage in the labor market, the necessary wage. Um, so that would cause our business sector to expand too. So I think both the business sector expanding and the residential expanding. And is that just is because that what was the answer key? Uh, it said that it tilts the bid curve, increasing bids, I think. On, sorry, looks like we're having technical difficulties here. All right, chat box. Are you guys getting any of what I said? It said it tilted the bid curve. Yeah. Oh, we can hear you. Okay, thank you, Eddie. All right, because <laughs> I'm getting uh, not much over here. Okay, good. So yeah, the tilting the bid curve would be the bending at the space for the residential, kind of similar to the way the streetcar did. Okay, any other questions? Let's see, the main thing I was wondering is if that's all because of less commute costs. Yes. Yep, I think so. Any other questions on 14? How about 15? Luke was asking I'm gonna about chapter type a little 14. bit too until we get. Chapter 14, apply number one. You can hear me? I think he froze again. Okay. Number one on apply for chapter 14. Okay, I got you, Luke, there. Yeah, I don't know if it's my internet or what the problem is here. So we'll try to work through it as best we can during these trying times. All right, so Luke, you wanted this one. Uh, using 14.2 as a starting place, suppose the freight cost per kilometer decreases from six to two and the rate of labor increases from one to three. Illustrate these implications. Um, what Did you not agree with the answer key, Luke, or what happened there? And use the chat box, the video is... Let me try to pull these up too. Luke, were you able to chat box it or am I online? Okay, I didn't know how to do it. I attempted something, but I'm not confident. Okay. Um, I think that was just kind of working through the, um, yeah, it looks like my whole computer here is being a little bogged down. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to try to pull up the 14.2 figure because you should have been able to just do how did um, if you guys can chat box on how you attempted it with Luke, how you guys did it. I'm trying to pull up the exercises, but my computer's apparently. in a little week today or my internet hmm. okay just made the total cost line steeper i don't know if that's correct Correct or not? Well, we should be okay. Not sure, Nate. If it's my uh, my computer seems to be moving slow too. I don't know. I think it's just the internet. I wonder if I need to close this down. Let me see if that makes a difference. That thing might have been hogging up a lot of memory. Okay, so Luke, I might have been what it was. And he's gone. All right. But now I'm back. <laughs> and he's back. <laughs> yeah. Dang. We'll see if it's uh, just my connection or what. So you guys can stay off of video if you want. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but let me try this one more time. I was slowly, I might, I was also thinking maybe of just rebooting my computer. I don't know if that'll help. All right, so you guys give me a thumbs up. I can't even see you anymore. Give me a chat box if you guys are, are you hearing me better now? <laughs> okay, I see double thumbs up from JC. All right, not great though. I'm just wondering if I should just leave you guys on. I can restart my computer and come back into it and see if that makes a difference. But otherwise, I think it's just my internet is being a little sketchy. Let, let's try continuing on one more time. I, I, I did pull up Luke's work here. Um, <clears throat> all right, so here's Luke's work because I couldn't remember exactly what the other one was. So it should have just been changing the parameters. Is this the original drawing, Luke? If you can chat box it, maybe. I don't know. We could try audio. Maybe it came back. Try, try, try your audio just for the heck of it, Luke. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Maybe not. I can. All right, I'm going to try to restart and see what happens. I can hear you, Luke. Loud and clear. I'll run out. Can we talk? Yeah, I didn't copy that, that niner niner. Okay, you guys stay on. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut down and see what see if that helps. Going dark. 
So you guys can uh, look at the next chapter while I'm off. Chapter uh, uh, six uh, zoning is what we're getting into next. Chapter uh, 16 on land use policy. All right, I'm going to see if I can reboot. Let's see, can I leave this meeting? That's, I can't remember if I can. JC, you're our host now. I hope it takes 10 years for his computer reboot. Am I? Okay. I'll start a <laughs> How does it say I'm the host? <laughs> just said that on my screen. I don't know. Okay. Let, me screen share? Let, me sh Let me share something. Um, <laughs> Damn, JC, you got to stay woke. Hey, by the way, this is still recording, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> This is what I'm doing in the whole bunch. <laughs> you are <laughs> dumb. <laughs> so I have a chair here. I'm like doing like in kind bicep curls while chilling. <laughs> Watching us do what do stuff. Showing off for the class. Yeah. Now I'm gonna show off real fast. Okay, guys, look at my plant. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna mute. Mute it. <laughs> <laughs> The power of the host. <laughs> oh, how do I get it back? Host has oh, yeah. stopped your video. You are unmuted by the host. You're a bitch. You <laughs> kick it back, Whoa. Watch the language, please. Hey, guys. Hey, you're right. This is a classroom setting, people. Come on. <laughs> okay, Dad. <laughs> I'm so offended oh. right now. Can I make you host? Can I make you co-host, Kyle? Oh, man, I don't know, but you should. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run it. I love it. Oh, make you co-host. Allow record. Remove. Huh. Put on hold. How about that one? I want to rename you. I want to rename you. Can you put, um, don't allow anyone else to join? <laughs> Uh, yo, we do that. <laughs> How do I do that? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is recording. <laughs> Meeting ID, host Ross McCullough. I've got to change that to JC Swartz. <laughs> I don't know what, what other options do I have. What other powers do I have? Ooh, pause, stop recording. Huh? Breakout rooms, reaction. What does that do? I don't know. I think reactions are like the thumbs up and the hand clap. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just saw what Brady said. He said JC is dad. <laughs> The screen, advanced basic share screen. Let's see, let's see, let's see, advanced screen. Share screen one. All right. All right, I'm back. And we're looking at John Claude's. Oh, are you sharing your work? Yeah. Or goofing around? Yeah. I'm trying to show something. I'm sure. I'm sure it was something highly educational. Well, you just came on when you came on. I couldn't do it. Should I make you host again, Ross? All right. Well, we'll give this uh, another try here. I'm still going to have to open up. I relinquish my powers to you, Ross. Say that again. I relinquish my host powers to you. Never mind. Can you hear me now? Thumbs up if you can hear me. All right, so you guys can hear me okay. I'm still getting, uh, I'm not going to be able to talk to you guys very well here, I think, if that's the case. Cutting out for you too, Claudio? Okay. How do you do the thumbs up? All right, so let's see. What was the other problem you wanted to, to look at? Was it, I guess we were trying to work through, um, 
the 14 2. Actually, let me see. I got the book here 14 2. So let me let me try doing it this way. So there's the 14 2 picture that Luke was drawing. And we can figure out the slope intercept form of these lines. <clears throat> so that's what I think you could do when the rates change, it would be the slope changing. So graphically you could do it, Luke, or you can um, create the equation for the total cost, which is the sum of those two lines. And that might be the easier thing to do. And then you just do it at each of the endpoints.